Tabloid Sarah. And I've been thinking about what I want to use for the accent tiles for this style of um, mosaic. And I think I'm going to go with gold. I have this little box. I'm going to paint another one. And I'm going to just paint it the whole thing gold. But I think this black is, is a perfect background for all this color. So I'm going to do that. But then I'm going to do some gold leafing as an accent. Oh, excuse me. So I want to do some more of these because I don't have a lot. And I think I want to try and... Um, this has leaves on it. I like the leaves a lot. But I have this circular pattern on here, like circles with dots. And I think I want to try that. And I don't know that I've ever done a um, gold leafing tutorial. So I have this big block of Sculpey 3. And I'm just going to cut little section of it. It's just easier to condition when you cut it into small pieces. That should be enough. Um, I have an Amico pasta machine. People keep asking me that. And I'm sure I just got it at um, Walmart or AC Moore or Michaels. I mean it was four years ago and I know I didn't order it online because I think I just picked it up right in the stores. And I'm, I'm rough with machines, so it already rolls it wonky because I try to force things. But I'm going to try, I think this is on about a number three. One is the thickest setting on mine, I think. Let's see. One, yeah, one's the thickest. So I think I'm going to go to a five. Let's see how... So that's a fairly decent sized sheet of clay. Um, I'm going to do one more this way. I'm going to cut these weird edges off. And hope, I'm just trying to get it a little more square. I don't know why. Because I want to try not to waste the um, gold leafing. That's not coming out square. I told you my machine is wonky. So I have, where is it? I just put it somewhere. Hi, Bay. Are you kidding? Come on, Sarah. All right, I'll be right back while I find it. It's right here because see, I reworked. I found it. I have the um, gold leaf. By Mona Lisa, I think it is. Mona Lisa products. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that has like paper in between each sheet of gold leafing. So it's a little easier to handle. And my fan is on. So we'll see how that goes. Because, you know, God forbid I turn that off. It's stupid hot. Alright. So I'm going to open this up. And I might even have a little piece that I haven't used yet. I do. So, hey Joe, yeah. I want to go with you to walk her. Okay. I'm on film, but I want to go with you. So, can we wait a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. So I have this. Um, I'm gonna. I'll save it. But yeah, see how there's like these little sheets that hold it. That's good to have. I have some. Hold on. Here we go. We're getting there. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. So see what I mean? This is going to blow. I'm going to try to get my clay in a way that I'm going to put it. And that end is a little ripped, so I'm just going to gently, hopefully, get it on there. and it just sticks. It naturally sticks. And you know, you don't really want to... I'm going to get my little... Um, where's my exacto blade? Can't find it over here. So I'm just going to try and break it away. Because you can use this again. 
and I'll put it back in here in between some of these pages and, <clears throat> and use it another time. Ah, but it is very, very um, soft. So just try and be gentle. And I mean, it got a little mangled, not too bad. I'm just gonna save that piece and the rest I'll waste. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but that doesn't matter to me. I, I use a coupon and, you know, it's all right. Um, all right, then I'm going to use my roller and get it on there. And really, and it actually, oh, I had something stuck on my roller and it stuck to it. So I lifted it up there. But it'll start to get cracks in it. Looks like crackle. I like that effect. I don't want it too crackly because I'm going to put, I'm going to stamp it. I want to stamp some of these circles in here and see what I get. So I'm going to try and put even pressure and that's pretty cool. I don't know if I love it, but let's cut it. Let's cut this piece. Try to scrape it up. Or nudge it. My blade, I don't think my blades are very sharp anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I find, well, Sculpey is very sticky and it is only 100 degrees out, so you know. Stop, curb. And I'm just going to take this. Kirby, get it yourself. Just like a child, right? She knows I'm filming. I like that though. I like those circles. So I'm going to cut this down. See, I'm going to just keep that and I'll roll it up and make it into a piece of scrap. But I'm going to try and cut this into little like tile shapes. Some rectangular, some square. And I'm going to bake them like this and look at that L gorgeous lush oops color because I really don't have anything geometric in my stash I don't have anything just like a I don't know that would kind of complement this um, geometric tiles that I made so this was kind of what I decided to try and I like it. It's very gold. And you know, I I think the clay is still at where I could cut it. I could actually cut this with scissors if I wanted to. Um, do I want to do another? I wanted to see what the writing looked like. I have this stamp. It's called Dream Text, and it's by Stampendous. I want to try this. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to set it down and try and get some even pressure. Let's see what it see what it looks like. I mean, definitely textury, right? I don't know that it's if I like that or I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think of it. Um, but I'll cut it into shapes. I just like that. It's just gorge. It's so bright. Uh, yeah, you really can't read it. It's nothing that, I mean, it's textural. You know, I don't know that I'll use it for this project, but I'll just put it in my stash and I'll bake them because it's just good to have a variety when it comes to this type of thing. Um, you could add a gold leafed tile to practically any project as a um, accent piece, you know. 
So I've got a couple that are really thin. That'll be nice for those just little pieces you can't fill. Yep. And um, should I just leave this plain? It's so gorgeous. I really like it plain. I don't think I've ever done. Well, yes, I have. Yeah, this is plain. These have, this is like the little points of an arrow. They look like Christmas trees. This is that uh, vine pattern. I really love the vine pattern, but I think I'm just going to go plain. Let's just go plain. And just, I pick a couple different widths and try and be even, equal distance apart. Um, oopsie. Now I'm going to be out of the shot. I'll zoom back up. You don't need close-ups of this. And I'll just make, these are basically spacer tiles or accent tiles. I can make small, big. This is going to be just nice to have in, the, in my stash. So I'm going to bake these and I'm going to paint my box all black and um, I might do that mosaic box the next time we see each other now I don't know I kind of regret not doing more of the circular ones and this is actually two pieces Sometimes I forget to make small pieces because really that's the point. You, these are filler tiles, so so many of these are big. You want to make these small, and I forget that. These, this is a lot of small ones though. This is definitely small. These are actually kind of big, so I think I'm going to cut this down at least to that size. So yeah. All right, and then I also did these before I got on camera. This was just stamping into the black clay, and I put all these bright colors. Actually, the first thing I did was rub and buff with gold, gold leaf. I put that on top. First, I stamped it with the stamp, the same stamp I just used. Rubbed it, the whole thing with rub and buff, and then put green, pink, purple, orange, and blue inside the letters, like down into the letter parts. Like in here, I used the mica powders and rubbed it down in there. So see, oops, I just squished one. Right here, this doesn't look too, I'm gonna make the blue is so gorgeous. I wanna make this blue. So I like push it down in the letters. And so, it's kind of like gold on the outside, but then where the letters go, because it was pushed down in there, I, I put the mica powder. That was the idea, the thought, anyway. And we'll see how they turn out when they're baked. Um, I may add stickles to them, but this was just another idea, because I think my accent color is going to be black. So then I was even thinking um, I could just use a black background and embed colored gems in there like little but I don't have these colors these colors are like I only have um, primary colors and these are a little bit more like that's not primary that's more of a light blue light green light orange you know so I didn't have the right color bling let's say like this pink I don't have that so I didn't have the bling so we'll see. I'm going to bake these, and it's just as simple as that. That's, that's how easy it is to gold leaf your clay and have these beautiful accent tiles to use in your mosaics. And you can stamp into them. Like, I mean, if you look at these close up, it's, it's like very dimensional. The lettering is like so etched in there. So I really like that. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.